Butler. First, uh, what should be two 10-lap heat races. Two 10-lap heat races <laughs> in our sweet stock division. And lights are out. We'll look for a green this time around. Gary O'Neill will look them over. Thomas on the inside leads them around. Bonnie on the outside. Here they come on the gas. There's a green. Thomas holding that inside line in the Nova. Look at that traffic jam in turn one and two. Randy Dean in the free car. The Pontiac trying to pull alongside Cotapassi in the 47 Dodge Charger. And these cars very easily match as Thomas leads them back to the line. And now Dean into turn one and two. We got a little bit of debris that came off one of the cars, but it came down on the inside, not on the racing surface. I think that was off the three car, making a little contact out there as Thomas leads him around. Motor passing, hanging off for second. Dean takes it away. into turn one. Let's see if they all make it. And Butler from the back of the back. Richard Butler sneaking up on the leaders. Butler in the Chevelle. And look out over in turn four. That flag is out on lap number three. And a tough break for Mark Murray in the 71 car. Look at the tail end of that car. And Thomas in the 18 car. You could all see that one coming no problem and you can see Thomas walking around the back of the car he may be a little shook up punctured you do not have a massive fuel spill which of course can be disastrous uh, one of the major concerns in all types of automobile racing car racing is threat of fire and that has been uh, for the most part almost eliminated with the use of filled fuel cells. Occasionally you will see fires and disappears rather quickly. You don't have the massive fuel fires that were so tragic uh, many, many years ago in all types of racing. And there is Mark Murray in the 71 car. And Butler Chevy tries the outside line. McGowan on the inside. Down the back straightaway. Trying to sneak up on the outside of that Dodge Charger. Cotapassi using the racetrack very well. Once again, Butler and the Chevelle takes it high. This time he might have the edge on Cotapassi. Right up against the wall down the back straightaway. And Butler will make the pass this time around. in that big Impala. Trying to make a move on quarter pass. He tries the outside line. Dean in the Pontiac. Holding on for fourth. Butler starting to pull away from the rest of the field. And we're halfway there. Butler in the Once in a while you see some sparks down there in turn one and two. Usually that's actually the chassis of the car bottoming out on the racetrack. It's not and McGowan comes up and gives Cotapassi a little hello tap on the bumper. Let's watch him over there down the back straightaway. And Richard Butler says, hey, I've got this one to myself so far as he comes around. inside of Cortapassi, squeezes up there, not much running room, those cars making contact, Cortapassi puts him right in the dirt, and he's going to let go, and now Cortapassi out of shape, yellow also tags him, and back to the line, we go yellow, Dean will be in second place, we race back to the yellow, and Bonnie beats out Cortapassi, and McGowan now stopped on the racetrack, down in turn four, back under his own power, apparently, as he tries to wheel his way around. Green and white is out. One left to go. And Butler once again.
again trying to stretch out that lead. He doesn't want to get tangled with anybody behind him. McGowan now trying to make a move on Bonnie's cutlass and doesn't find any racing room there. over Mac McGowan. Here he is out of the car, Richard Butler. And this time, our trophy presenter, Dana Smith, says, I'm going to walk out here. I'm not going to ride in that big, huge vehicle anymore, for a while anyway. 